Hi everyone, it's me, Sammy Girl 101 as most of you guys know, and we have reached 300 subscribers. Now, originally I had something else planned with Blanket Blob, but the more I thought, the more I kept thinking that maybe I should do something more meaningful again. Something that showed my subscribers what kind of person I want to be in the future, and what kind of person I am now. And then I remembered that, in the end, Role models can show a reflection of what someone wants to be, and their reasons for looking up to them can show what kind of person they are now. So, I'm going to be thanking my role models again, but this time, it's a little bit more direct. Before I start my thank yous again, I would like to say thank you to every single person who subscribed to my channel. You all again have supported a dream of mine, a dream where I can sing and act in front of a smiling audience that are ready to see what I do next regardless if it's awkward or not. It can be sometimes nerve-wracking when I realize how many people are watching me and have their eyes glued to their screen, but at the same time, it's almost comforting. Now let's begin. The first one is the not-so-obvious one, but if my older subscribers remember, I used to do storyboard videos. And besides the lady, who else was in it? Ray, or more popularly known as Shadow Chaos 725 the reason why I look up to him is due to my career choice, along with how he lives his life. You see, currently I'm working towards becoming a computer programmer. I, I know, sh shocker, but this is not the point. I have had one very big fear about choosing this path, and it's because I know very well from experience in a programming class that it's going to be tough on me, it's going to be frustrating on me, and it may as well eat all my time because editing in code takes that frickin' long. I've been a little afraid to say the least. However, I noticed something that Ray can do while being a programmer. He can still play video games, take care of his girlfriend, his friendships haven't fallen apart, and he can still maintain his YouTube channel. For the most part. He doesn't upload as much anymore, but he still uploads. He still uploads. He indirectly showed me that I can still live my life while doing something that makes me want to rip my hair out. I don't have to give up the hobbies that I love just to be a programmer. So, arigato, hire. Also, shout out to his girl from Belinda, the goddess of Moe. S seriously, she she's that cute. The second one makes a little bit more sense. Blue Cirx, also known as Eric. If you don't know, Blue is a talented voice actor, and the reason I look up to him is due to his skill as a voice actor. He is able to mold his vocals like clay into something completely different from his original voice. He can go from having this adorable cinnamon bun guy voice, to something so strong and powerful, to a voice that just makes you want to laugh. I want to do the same with my own voice. I've already started trying to mold my voice like his, with only a tiny bit of success. I'm not there yet though. But someday I will be. So, thank you, Eric. The third may sound familiar if you check the comment sections of some of my videos. Ash, also known as A Shadow Reviews. Also known as... Uh, Oscar, I believe? Is that your name? I hope it's your name. The reason I look up to him is... Actually kind of embarrassing in my regard. It's the fact he can do reviews with such a clear and confident voice. He sounds professional in my opinion, and... As for myself... Well... Okay, let me explain. I'm a very nervous person when it comes to some social interactions, so... You think that when I'm alone in my room with my recording equipment ready to go? You think that my voice wouldn't change, right? Well, this is... Half true. When I'm singing or playing a character, I don't stutter that much. I feel very confident and I can sing or speak without having any trouble. However, when I try to sound quote unquote professional and or be myself, I stutter a lot. Like, a whole lot. In fact, I think this video's raw recording will have a lot of stutters that I will need to remove with editing. I want to be able to speak professionally and be myself when I speak in front of an audience without, you know, stuttering so much. So, takaskara. The final one is someone you may know very well if you've been subscribed to my channel for at least a year. The lady I anime for? Annie, or more popularly known as Lady Arietta. 
Now, my reason for looking up to her is actually quite simple. You see, Annie runs a Let's Play channel, and do you know what Let's Plays are full of? Mistakes. Something I'm actually quite afraid of doing, mostly in the fear of disappointing others. I've actually tried to do Let's Plays myself as a fun idea for a new series of videos for you guys, but every time I try to hit record, I get way too afraid. Admittedly, I think this might be part of my anxiety, but at the same time, it's no excuse as I believe Annie has anxiety as well. Possibly even bigger than my own. In short, I want to be like her where I can be confident in myself to the point where I can make mistakes and get back up to try one more time. So, arigato, Annie. Now, I have a feeling that someday, my role models may see this video. Especially since a couple of them are already subscribed to my channel. One of them stalks my channel, and one of them knows that stalker, and one of my more recent subscribers. So, to the role models who are currently watching this video, hello. Nice to know you're listening, and thank you so much. I know this video is probably awkward for all of you guys to watch. Heck, you guys might think it's weird that I decided to make this my 300 sub video, and this may be a bad first impression for a couple of you. Some of you guys might not even watch this video to the end, but seriously, thank you so much for supporting me, both indirectly and directly. The things you guys have done for me, I hope to do for someone else. You have all given me hope, support, ease, a lesson, happiness. I promise I will continue to improve my skills, so that one day, I can become someone else's role model, just like you have been for me. Please stay yourselves. After all, I look up to you because of you, and with that, I'll leave you all with this line from the recent short film Shelter. I'll give them shelter like you've done for me. I know I'm not alone, and you'll be watching over us until you're gone. Thank you. Family, you forgot to mention something! Oh, oh, what did I forget? Seriously, what did I forget? You forgot to mention that this is the first time you've actually thought extensively about these role models and that you're not trying to seem like a fangirl. And that this is the last role model you'll probably ever make. With the exception of maybe a blanket blob impression video, but that's it. Um, yeah, just kind of did for me, Logic Self. Ow.